july august september october november december wow i had my mat but for the first six months in the box without using it that's crazy let's get straight into this vlog and it's gonna be a <gasps> unboxing yes if you guessed an unboxing you guessed right if the title told you that well you also read right <laughs> let's get into it and we are unboxing my new MacBook Pro. If I'm being honest, I had this MacBook Pro since June when they first dropped. I was like one of the first ones to cop this and I just didn't open it. I didn't. I brought it back to Barbados and everything in the plastic. So here it is. And that's it. Okay, so what else did it come with? It came with the cable, and it's a USB-C to USB-C cable. And then it just came with Apple Care stuff, so instruction stuff. Um, it came with the Apple stickers. And then the charging dock. So the plug for the USB. And yeah. I actually have the older charging block from my Apple Ear that I had from before. And so I can actually do an extension because I can pop this out and put in the extension from that one. Love that for me. Love that for me and I hope that it would work. So I will try it. So yes, just to give me a little extra length. And so yeah. That's me unboxing my new MacBook Pro. And I think my color is space gray. Let me just look and see if it says it on the box. But I really think my color is space gray. I 
think that's what you call it. Space gray. I'm looking all over the box, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Mind you, I picked the color, but again, I picked the color back in June, so don't judge me. Don't judge me. Um, I'm always a charge of your devices first kind of person, but we will turn it on and see. what it's giving if it's giving anything except for dead battery I think it's just giving dead battery because as I said It's been months since we got it and we didn't turn it on. So I'm gonna put this to charge and then we can go through the welcome. So I checked the details and what I remembered is I got the Apple Care for three years, I think it was. So my Apple Care actually runs out in June of 2025 and um, it is face gray confirmed that as well uh, I ordered it on June 17th and I got it delivered on June 24th so I've had my MacBook Pro since June 24th today's Christmas Day so that's July August September October November December wow I had my MacBook Pro for six months in the box without using it that's crazy that's crazy. Anyways, that's what it is. It It is what it is, okay? It is what it is until it isn't and it isn't in the box anymore. So just deal with it. Um, What else did I get for the MacBook? I actually got the a case for it. Um, I ordered my case off of Amazon. It is a Mosiso, M-O-S-I-S-O. Hope it focused so you guys could see that, but that's what it's called, a Mosiso. And um, this is, I think, gray blue, but I can also put the link from the Amazon buy or Amazon order in the description box below. Right, and so I got the Mosiso case and yeah, it comes in like, I think this is like gray blue. It has an external pocket here with a zip for just extra storage. I think it could probably even fit my iPad in there. It has a carrying handle at the top. It's got a full zipper around and the zipper is covered as well because I tried to make sure that it is possibly as waterproof as possible but not like I'm trying to get it wet. The inside has like this comfy fur lining. And so then everything is inside of here because again, <laughs> I didn't open this stuff. So inside of here is the hard shell case, which is like the space gray lilac, kind of lilac -y color, which is a color I've been gravitating towards recently. It comes with two keyboard covers inside there. It comes with a cleaner. It comes with a webcam cover is what it says. Um, refuse spying. So you can put a Mosiso webcam cover over your camera lens. Um, it actually has two, which is cool. Cause I mean, if I wanted to, I guess it could fit on my iPad as well. And that's all it seems to come with. And it's, let me just look. Cause I would also cry right now. But yes, it seems to be the correct size for my MacBook. So that's good. Like, 
would not have wanted to come now and be like, oh, this is supposed to fit the 10 inch or this is supposed to fit a bigger size. Like, yeah, so it seems to be the cover for the 13 inch. So thank goodness for that. And then, okay, so in the corners, it has little extra security. So you can slide the MacBook under there and then yeah it doesn't have like a plastic or elastic or a velcro piece that comes over the computer it doesn't have one of those straps so tuck it in the four corners and zip it all the way up so that's the case for my macbook i'm really happy about the extra webcam covers like I don't know like I think about this stuff but I don't always think about this stuff yeah but that's not all that we're gonna be talking about in this video I also got an iPad pencil when did I get my iPad pencil don't ask when do you think I got my iPad pencil when do you think I got my iPad pencil if your guess was in June Leave me, because you're right. But we're not here to discuss that. We're not here to discuss who's right and who's wrong. Because really, am I wrong? Am I, am I, am I? No, that's the answer you're looking for. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then you're wrong. Don't come for me if I didn't come for you. So yes, so I got myself a Apple Pencil and this is the second generation pencil. Um, it cost 129 USD. I had bought it in the store that same day when I went in for the MacBook. I was honestly feeling a little bit kind of depressed for being in the store and then not being able to get anything while in the store because the new MacBooks for MacBook Pros weren't actually in store yet. And I was considering getting the MacBook Air, but the Air wasn't out yet. And all they were saying was coming soon this summer, coming soon this summer. And I was leaving in July and I was just like, y'all ain't gonna stress me out, making me feel like it's gonna be here before I leave. And then it's not gonna be here before I leave. And then they sold out of the MacBook Pro. Like you get where I'm coming from? Like what's that thing about, you know, um, not leaving sure for unsure? Well, it might not always be the right thing when it comes to relationships, with the, but with the Apple, it was for sure right so i took the macbook pro as it was there right in front of me available in or for order and i got that and so then they were like you could always just like trade it in when the air comes out if you want to and i want to say the air came out like a day or two before i left and i was i was not feeling it i was good with what i had i was good with what i had what's that a bird in the hand is worth more than a bird in the bush if that's not what the saying is correct me in the comments but that's the kind of thing i mean okay the point is i had it and so i was not gonna be wishing for something that i didn't have good so let's unbox <laughs> so let's unbox my apple pencil second generation It says designed by Apple in California. Again, it's the instructions in a package. Let's see if they put anything in here but the instructions. So that's the instructions. And that, that's so cool how everything is like in a little strip like this according to the shape of the box so yeah but that's all that seems to be in here so let's just put those right back in there oh they just show you that you can replace the tip, double tap to change modes, and it magnetically attaches to the top of your iPad. 
so that's all the little instruction manual is telling you that you can replace the tip you can double tap to change modes or you can and it charges at the top of the ipad so that's that stuff and now here's the start of the show let me just hold it so it doesn't roll out and that's the little pencil just let me put my finger there so it doesn't roll out what do i do let it roll out at least it rolled out onto the bed so this is it that's the tip there pencil at the bottom of it and then it's a plastic tab here on it so pull on that and that's how it unravels all done and that's it and then to charge it says that it could just Yeah, let me just get my iPad so I could like, you know. So to try it just says just guys, so it's magnetic and like it just went onto there like nothing, but can it actually fit in? <gasps> it just fit in the slot and it says Apple Pencil at the top. I don't know if you got to see that, but that is so cool. And like at first I thought it wasn't gonna fit, but it has a um, a flat bottom and so like when you put in that flat side to the top of the iPad it just slips into the slot like and it's magnetic look at me finally putting in my Apple pencil in the case and as you can see my case is lilac my phone is lilac and now the laptop is space gray but then the case is kind of like a lilac -y space blue blue gray whatever you want to call it oh even my braces are lilac well lilac and purple don't judge me. My nails before these Christmas nails were lilac and purple too. I don't know. I used to love pink for a lilac. She's creeping up in there to be a real good second. A real, real good second place. So yeah, that's it for that Apple unboxing. Um, Anything else I have to show you guys and just let's get all this tech stuff out of the way. Oh, so since I got the iPad, um... I also wanted to get some extra storage and so I bought a new external hard drive and my external hard drive is huge and heavy and it's like oh my god so heavy dude this is it this is one terabyte of storage I'm so scared to lose this thing like <laughs> I mean Crucial, what were you thinking? Like, I thought it was gonna be something that comes, yeah, I didn't want something that needs to charge or anything like that, but like, I was not expecting it, expecting it to be so peeny. So let me tell you about it. This is the Crucial X6 Portable SSD, one terabyte portable storage for Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So I actually have it formatted that I can use it with both my Windows desktop computer and my iPad and now the MacBook Pro. So it can work with both Apple and Windows. Um, it's the charging port for it or the port it has for the adapter is a USB-C. And that works out really well because almost all my cables now are USB-C to USB-C. I still have a few USB-C to regular USB, which is what I use for my desktop computer. But now most of my cables are USB-C. I actually bought these two cables. It says from JXMOX. But I bought two of these cables. It's um, one foot long, I think it is. Cause like I don't need it to be too much. It's just gonna be into here and into the iPad or into here and into the MacBook. So I don't need like a whole lot of length for that. And so yeah, but who would believe this is one terabyte of storage here? Like it's so, it's so tiny and it's so light. Like I didn't expect that. Not me dropping it to show you guys that it's so light and so tiny. Um, 
transfer easy download and go expand uh, massive storage at your fingertips with ssd speed and a quality lightweight design they were not kidding when they say and a quality lightweight design they weren't um anything else on here about it USB C. Oh, it came with a USB C to USB C cable, but I didn't know that when I ordered it. So that's why I ordered the two extra cables. But I honestly, I have not used their cable. Not once have I used their cable. Not once because sis bought cables. And then my Samsung S21 Plus that uses a USB C to USB C cable, and my iPad uses a USB C to USB C cable. So like. I wasn't checking to see that they were gonna offer me a cable. It was just I wanted a short cable. Honey, the cable that it came with was a short cable. <laughs> so if you don't wanna buy the extra cables, like, it comes with one. I've never used it though, so I can't tell you if it's like really good cable, but yeah, it comes with one. And the cables were probably like $10 on Amazon. It wasn't anything much. Um, in terms of the external hard drive, I would have to look on my Amazon orders and put that price in the description box below. But I want to say it was costing me like between 50 to 70 US on Amazon. So yeah, and my MacBook Pro, I think that was like $8.99 USD, but I'm not really, really certain. But $8.99 USD plus three years Apple Care, taking me to 2025. Um, yeah. I think that's it. That's it for my tech unboxing, tech gadget sharing. And when I charge that, that um, MacBook Pro, then I'll come back and just show you guys the welcome screen. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in system preferences. Just get straight into this vlog. <gasps> it's another unboxing. Unboxings at Christmas. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 